Bit of double skulls coming your way. This is a double skulls challenge cup. Poised on the line, ready to go. Go. So, on the Berkshire station, Van Velden and Lick Lama of the USA. Allery and Kleshnev on the Buck station. So this is Temple Island and the start, and we can go down the course to the live action. You can see Temple Island and the rolling hills of the Hambledon Valley in the background. What a beautiful view that is. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful view. Yeah, that's why we're here. That's a close race still. It is. You can see on the right-hand side of the screen there, David Van Velden in the bow seat, hoodie. Uh, like Lama um, in the stroke seat from Princeton University. Just seem to have the advantage at the moment. Princeton are here in strength this year uh, across their men's heavyweight, lightweight, and women's heavyweight and lightweight program. It's great to have them here. Hiddy's dad's a bit of a legend in the sport. And uh, interesting to see that both his parents coach Hiddy Lick Lama at times, on and off for the last five years. Never easy coaching your offspring. Probably why it's been on and off. Mm. They're doing something right because it's going well here with David Van Velden on the Berkshire station. I think they'd want a little bit more now uh, coming into the enclosures. I mean, they, they do seem to have about a length lead, but in the double skulls where actually moves can be made and boat speed can change quite dramatically yeah the smaller the boat in the blink of an eye the uh, change can be made can't it whereas in the eights it takes a lot longer to change the order of things it does so only a length that's not yeah and in fact if anything it looks like Leander are coming back and they've got they've got a healthy overlap now yeah. and Kleshnev have really put in a burst here and from a length in the space of 10 or 15 strokes, they've gone to level, and if they keep up that rate for very long, they'll be, yep, there they go, moving ahead. That was a, a turn on the, buck, just on the buck station. Yeah, very impressive, actually. Uh, through Forley, they were definitely down. They soaked it up, they've made a move. Princeton's still got overlap. So this, is, this, this race is far from over. So there's the grimacing. Ellery and Kleshnev and Leander. But they've really had to uh, find some extra reserve there to make that shift, haven't they? That was an impressive turn of power and speed. Exactly, actually, Neil, what you were saying, it, almost on cue, it's almost as if they were listening to you because they, uh, they turned the race round quickly where uh, in an eight you wouldn't be able to do that. Indeed. And I think what remains to be seen is how much that take that effort took out of them. I think they really did have to put a lot on the line there. Umpire intervening and the Leander boat, the uh, Ellery Kleshnev boat, being encouraged to get back onto the bucket side of the water. Crept out a bit central there. And that's not going to help them. As you say, they've had to uh, expend a lot of energy to, to get that lead. Now they just need to keep it as simple as possible. They do, and they haven't been able to drop Princeton, who are the lighter crew. Princeton athletes didn't look particularly phased, they were looking relaxed and in control, so I think the stage is set now for this last few hundred metres uh, to see whether or not the, the relaxation and the efficiency of the, uh, of the Princeton crew can match that effort. The and Princeton string. boat on the right-hand side of your picture, that's the Leander boat. You can see the uh, Leander coach just uh, sitting down there beneath the white flag. She's uh, still fluttering. The umpire being uh, quite firm. It's not helping their cause, is it? If they uh, have to do, have to oversteer, have to get busy with the steering, it's not going to help them. They're still being asked to get back onto their side of the water. And they've still got a decent lead, but they're making it more difficult than it might be. Princeton outpowered mid-race and they've actually stretched that lead despite the steering antics and they'll go over the line in the next minute in front of Stewart's a few more strokes to go 
Ellery and Kleshnev. And Leanne the boat appearing in the picture in the foreground. A little glance over the shoulder from Bryn Ellery. And over the line they go off that buck station. It was a good win there and very impressive turn. Great confidence, wasn't it, to just hang in the race and then bang, hit the button and change the gear and that's race done.